He's fantastic from around the green. And this is sheer magic. Good shot. Good swing. In she goes. 65 strokes. Seve is once more the champion. I want to get down in two more from here to tie with Nicholas for second place. Takes three more, he ties with Floyd for third. Yes. Well, it couldn't be bad. Thousands of people hoping he'll hold it. Yeah. Uh, it looks as if uh, Savvy's got the, a very good line in to the green. Just a very lofted club. Wind from the left. Blowing across the hole from, well, probably eight, half past eight, nine o'clock. strokes, Seve is once more the champion. Behind a tee shot from the 16th. Oh, he gives it a tremendous clatter and that's going miles to the right. Where some 60 or 70 yards to the right of this fairway. <laughs> Well, I do believe he's away off there and found a car park. So you have a you have a free drop, uh, and we you also have we, we play the line of sight rule uh, in relation to park motor cars. So where I must drop? Uh, you take the nearest nearest point, giving you complete relief, no nearer the hole. Must be over there. That's correct. Well, Sevy, a little fortunate there off that wayward tee shot. He found some cars, you can see them parked some 60 or 70 yards off the fairway. He uh, can move away from the parked cars. Alasteris now has found the true spot to drop and how lucky he has been to be able to get that sort of lie from that wild tee shot. It's still a difficult shot though, across the green, across the bunkers, with the wind whipping from the left. Alasteris with a very lofted club. And it's a good one. He's got it onto the putting surface. Two putts from here to remain two ahead. And he only needs one. <laughs> well, the golfing gods really are with the smiling Spaniard today. Well, well. For a birdie three. Putt that will swing from right to left. Oh, what ecstasy. 